All right, Tony, thanks. Our pinpoint weather team coverage in northern Rhode Island now, again, where we saw the higher accumulations, the state's northwest corner in that historical snow belt. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian has been talking to plow drivers, including one with an incredible track record. Kim joins us live from the Northwest Mobile Newsroom now. Kim? Well, Jared, that's right. The snow here in Smithfield has been gone for hours, changing first to sleet and now to a very fine mist. But all this wet weather has made a mess of what's already here on the ground. And this evening we spoke, we spoke to some workers who were out in this weather cleaning up all of this snow and slush. The third snowfall in the past four days. It's keeping plow drivers like Tim Kelly on their toes. All I've done for the past three days is plow and sleep. That's it. At the Cumberland Highway Department, Foreman Frank Stoic says they're feeling the impact of back-to-back -back storms. Because you guys stay here around the clock, so it's, it's exhausting. Still, the men clearing roads and parking lots persist. I've been doing this for 38 years, since 1978. I didn't plow the blizzard. Every storm since the blizzard. We found Jeffrey Mancy clearing snow in the parking lot of his Smithfield car wash. He says even the flu hasn't stopped him from hopping behind the wheel of his truck in winter's past. He says Sunday's snowfall wasn't hard to contend with. This is nothing. It's just it really it's, it's just a little storm. Mancy says the key is to plow before the snow ice is over and push it far enough away so even when the snow piles up, it's still easy to manage. After nearly four decades plowing, to Mancy, snow is just another fact of life. It is. It's just winter in the winter. And plow drivers we spoke with tonight say it's actually a little bit more dangerous to be working out in these conditions this evening versus on Thursday. They say that's because all of this freezing rain and sleet and low temperatures that we've seen today have made it very slick and slippery out here. Reporting live in Smithfield at the Mobile Newsroom, Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.